in the process. So now we come back now to 2000 and you say 2012. 2012, 2012, 2012 that's when I transitioned into, into Society into for International Development. SID. Yeah. Um, so you apply for this one or you're no, it's, it, it's I'm actually uh, somehow I, I prayed uh-huh. and two weeks later I got a, a, a call mm-hmm. and they said we would like you to come and work for us. Remember SID and IE work together mm-hmm. a lot. Yes. So there are people yes. I knew. Yeah. And they needed a programs director. Mm-hmm. And and so hey, here I am mm. feeling like now I've mm really done what i could mm, but haven't resigned yet no 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 mm, mm. I, you don't resign you mm. look for the next job mm. where you're going to go into yeah so yeah they they actually it's an, a job offer mm. and i'm mm. glad to take it mm. so i mm. take it mm-hmm. and i start off as a program director there yeah yeah Responsible part of my mm. coordinating all the programs mm-hmm. and fundraising mm-hmm. so one of the major projects i found was a an inequality project mm-hmm. that the previous programs director mm-hmm. had started mm-hmm. picking about but wasn't fully formed mm-hmm. so i picked that up as part of what i need to do so i was in charge of a program mm-hmm. but coordinate as well as coordinate we were a very small team right and also helping with fundraising mm. so this was like my first major project mm. complete the proposal mm. um go off to have discussions with a few funders mm. This is uh, to reiterate a conversation we had earlier about this development work and mm. funding mechanisms mm, mm. Is, is is really about trust mm. and relationships mm-hmm. as much as it is about, yes, you will apply, have mm. a technical proposal. Mm. That's just a bit of the work done. Mm. People need to know that they'll get value for money mm. and that it, you will help them meet the mandate mm. that they also have. Mm in this money that they are giving you. Mm. So I didn't recognize at mm. that time that the work I had been doing at IE had actually mm. been out there right. and celebrated. So when I came calling, the feedback I got was, wow, mm. we know you will deliver. Mm. So that was very good feedback mm. for that's, me. That's good. Yeah. And mm. it really built my confidence mm. and we got the money mm. and we executed. So mm. this was a partnership between SID and mm-hmm. Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. Right. right. The idea was to map out inequality and I, I uh, SID had done this earlier mm-hmm. so this was like volume yeah. two yeah mm-hmm. only that um we were now doing this very purposefully mm. with just looking at really at the smallest unit mm. of development which was uh, the ward level the ward level and seeing the disparities mm-hmm. so funded in, by? it was funded by Danida Danida right and mm-hmm. so there was it was very uh it, it looked at access to services mm-hmm. like water sanitation mm. education mm. It was a powerful piece of work and we mm. were using the census to do mm. that. Mm. And so it was very intense. Mm. It was like 3,000 worth pages mm. of work mm. because there was the county specific reports. Mm-hmm. So we sort of like picked out 47 reports mm-hmm. out of that work. Mm-hmm. And then we there was an abridged version that summarized everything. Mm. Then there was the national book. Mm-hmm. So it was so, 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 so intense mm. in those two years. Mm. Yeah, then the working environment was very good at first, mm. but there were mm. just some internal issues mm. Mm. that began to make the working environment very mm. difficult. Mm. Mm. So um, you're part of the leadership team at the time. I was part of the leadership team is, and we had a team in Rome, mm. had a team here in Nairobi mm-hmm. and a team in Tanzania. Mm. So we were kind of like, uh, so we I was part of the team mm. that now that was made of these three offices. Of the three. Yeah. yeah. So, um, a lot of organizations go through quite a bit of turmoil. Yes. Um, uh, and you know, it. <laughs> speaking of scenarios, it leads to oh, many yeah. different scenarios. Yeah. Uh, when you talk about you know team culture and stuff like that, so mm-hmm. if you don't mind, I'd love for you to just to elaborate to elaborate so that yeah. you know there's a lot of learning and for the our audience is leaders and leaders mm-hmm. and uh, practitioners in the development field so yeah. leadership and 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 um, the role of leadership you know in 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 um, in organizations that are nascent but also in organizations that are growing mm-hmm. is, is is one of those so what what was the journey like and what were okay. those what were those um, issues yeah. issues <laughs> so SID was first based in Rome mm-hmm. And it's a, a space where development practitioners for a long time mm. had been discussing different issues. So mm. they had chapters across the world. Mm. 
what happened is that then they with the success of the scenarios project they mm. felt that this work they could then come and set up in east africa and they could begin doing right. as a regional you know hub right and so they were very successful in inequality mm. conversations mm-hmm. and a lot of elections and democracy work mm. very you know top notch research mm. and actually it it was like a mini iea mm. like people who had worked in iea the ones that transitioned mm. some of them mm. to to sid mm. and but by the time i'm coming in those people that had made sid so successful also tr- had transitioned out and it's at the top Mm. so the ed the programs director mm. almost left at the same time mm. so obviously this begins to raise queries about what's happening in tanu yeah, yeah, right yeah. so that transition did affect mm-hmm. the funding mm. it did affect perception yeah perception mm. exactly mm. Mm. so we are coming in to sort of like rebuild mm. the confidence of mm. the organization mm. not that because it had a good name mm. but that transition right. then needs to yeah. sort of like just reassure mm. Mm. And so that 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 was a dynamic. Mm-hmm. So the the leader that mm-hmm. came mm-hmm. Uh, at this time I'm joining. Mm-hmm. So there so we are a few new people that mm-hmm. come in. Mm-hmm. Um is a, is someone who had worked in the humanitarian sector for a while. Mm-hmm. My assessment of it mm-hmm. um is that they were they were not a perfect fit for the organization. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so that then if the top leadership mm. is of course there's the leadership element but there's a technical part of it mm-hmm. if that has a bit of an issue mm-hmm. or this mm-hmm. it 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 becomes problematic mm-hmm. and and so anyways and, mm-hmm. and then of course now there's there are almost two camps mm-hmm. there's a new team and the old team yeah and there are a few just management issues there yeah, yeah. that hadn't been resolved and yeah. they are catching up yeah. so those are some yeah. of the yeah elements. and now yeah. i'm coming in and beginning to work on a very intense project. project yeah. So there are multiple issues that are going on and coming together at the same time. Exhausting, yeah. it's very difficult. Yeah. And yeah, by the time two years were up, you're burnt out, you're burnt out. I am yes, burnt out, but mm. also um to be honest with mm. you, mm. um the the boss didn't renew my contract. Okay. okay. So and and I can confidently say not mm. out of anything wrong i did mm. we were just at some point just not at log ahead uh, we were not yeah we were mm. not really working well mm. together mm. but also i must say that um and this is something else about organizations that have headquarters mm-hmm. mm. that's a very interesting development dynamic mm-hmm. in the sense that um there are times when depending on how the organization is mm. this what we call headquarter issues mm. so you you will have and what was happening is that at at some point mm-hmm. Um SID was being funded by the government in Italy. Mm-hmm. But now that funding sort of like uh, dried up. Mm-hmm. And now uh, the most of the action apart from the chapters most of the actual program work is happening in East Africa. Mm. So whereas this organization was independently working mm. now you have a lot of headquarter can I say I don't know. Um dynamics playing out anyways yeah. mm. and that even adds on to, mm, the to the pressure yeah, yeah to mm. the complexity mm. and so mm. by the time i was leaving mm. ah it was it was not a very easy mm. place mm. and and mm. yes i was so exhausted to the point where uh, so anyway this first of all before leaving mm-hmm. the, the 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 inequality report mm-hmm. is intense mm-hmm. but it comes out and we launch it mm-hmm. shows wow mm. is is groundbreaking mm-hmm. in as far as if you look within the counties it was very successful in mm. highlighting intra county mm. inequalities right so that you can see where just something we had maps mm-hmm. that showed this part of your county mm-hmm. there are no toilets mm. this part has mm. i think it was that detailed oh, wow. Mm. or access to water mm-hmm, mm. and so th- the point to make was mm. we were disseminating this mm. or beginning to launch this mm-hmm. as, as as a way of imploring counties mm-hmm. which are now coming to mm-hmm. full uh, force mm-hmm. to develop from a point of equity mm. which is one of the mandates of right. the constitution right, right and so there was a book or mm. a basis mm. for that plan which can give them a which fantastic gives them a, a head start mm. and actually one of mm. the most successful things about mm-hmm. this publication mm-hmm. is that a lot of counties mm. use them as their first point of call mm. when they develop their mm. county integrated plan mm. Mm. so the thing to learn here mm-hmm. is that mm. you may do one thing mm. 
but it, it it's important that it cascades the impact that the it impact has. that it has yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, 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 is critical yeah, yeah, yeah. in that sense so that mm. and the beauty of research mm. is that you can do it from you know SID mm. but the impact of it is mm. so wide reaching yeah, it will it yeah, really it outlives leaves you. the the, the, yeah. the research. It's the the exactly. time of the research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many other counties are probably catching on now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Many yeah. years later. Yeah. And and a lot more work mm -hmm. builds from it. Yeah. A lot more researchers then also probably pick on it. Yeah, a lot yeah. more policy individuals Debates, yeah, get their yeah, yeah. references on even yeah. those equality dis discussions mm. those were powerful you mm. know, reference mm. points and mm. those the, the opportunity to do that kind of work is such an mm. awesome mm. opportunity mm. you know so for you at that time yeah. you are you have been known by the time you're entering um uh, sid yeah. as Katindi youth. Mama youth. Mama youth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, and rightfully so because of just how much mm -hmm. impact the youth work had, uh, had mm -hmm. uh, both in Kenya and in Africa. And now your work within counties and and um, and, 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 and the policy framing mm -hmm. uh, is also really getting to expand. So what, mm -hmm. what, what happens? So um, first of all, when we launched, mm -hmm. at the launch there was a crisis. At the launch of? Of the book, of the inequality book. This right. is now inside the, you know, in backstage information. Yeah. So at this time, Anwar Igo <laughs> was the head of devolution, the CS devolution. Right. And you know, I mean, things were tough at this point. Uh -huh. And one, so and remember this work is done in collaboration with Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. Mm -hmm it's bringing in information that is beginning to point out at ugly inequalities mm -hmm. and so the feeling or the message mm. and actually what we did again you, you use your social capital mm. to try and get traction mm -hmm. so by the virtue of this partnership we felt maybe the cs with evolution could launch the work mm. so I they remember. all have aids mm. isn't mm. it and this AIDS need to approve before it gets, you know, all mm. these gatekeepers, mm. all these people have. Mm. Mm. And so one of the most peculiar things that happens is that I we, we reach out to one of her AIDS so that she can get us, then, you know, pass on the message. Mm. And she says, you know, it, it won't go, she won't come if I don't read it. So we release the work early to her. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you it went I can't even tell. It went so bad. Tell me more. What were the inequalities? So, so some of the information that's coming out is, mm. for example, that. So, just pause for a minute All and right. realize that this data that we are saying is so useful mm. can be politicized to it's give all, different narratives. Obviously. So we can look at the same data, mm. but what depending on what you are looking for, yeah, it can say different things. Very different things, and that's the in, so, that's the thing about data. Yeah, yeah. The often. political side of things mm -hmm. is that you need data to show that you're a good government, right? Oh, absolutely. And so sometimes data can be used to conceal truths mm. so this data is beginning to say by the way only 30 percent of the people are formally em or rather get formal employment get formal pay mm. for the work they do mm. and yet we are saying that we have 12 percent unemployment mm. so it begins to surface issues that a lot of people don't know it's already there but people don't know that if you work okay in your father's or mother's farm mm but you're not paid. Mm. When I'm doing the census, I take you as employed. But in essence? But in essence, mm. you're unemployed mm. because you're not getting a meaningful pay for it. Mm. So you cannot sustainably live off the farm mm. of your mm. father's and mother's land, mm. right? Mm. Correct. Ga because you're not getting a monetary mm. it's value not gainful for employment. It. Yeah. It's not gainful employment. Mm. So there are many other people that have, you know, very low they are under underpaid mm -hmm. or underemployed. Mm -hmm. And so the reason why, and it's a, 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 across Africa, mm. the reason why unemployment is concealed and the truth doesn't, uh, unemployment in Africa is 40, 50% mm. is because we, we, we of either miscounting 
of the people who actually have gainful employment. So this work is beginning to say, for example, mm. only 30% of the people are, pay, are paid and 36% actually get formal pay. Mm. This is even documented by Central Bank in mm. their financial access, mm. sort of like uh, publication. Mm. But you see, you have partnered with King to mm. say this about the government. That mm. is trying to say, since they came into power, they've been, they've mm. created employment. Mm. Hmm. Ah, it went. It it really Whoa. went off. So oh, badly. I can imagine. So, so by the roadblock the time, mm. and I think it was also an error on our part mm. because I thought this was social capital or a friend I mm. had. Mm. We could reach out, mm. but you know we had agreed with KNBS mm -hmm. that you know it's a government thing. Let's do this. Let's manage this because mm. they understand the politics. Mm. But you see, government has a culture of working, mm. so you, you're not getting mm. results fast as enough, fast, yeah. and you need to plan for a launch. Mm. Eh, it was crisis, because now <laughs> some of these people we worked with, mm. and some of this work was done with trust. Mm. You know, this, mm. there are elements of trust, there are oh, elements yeah, of yeah. partnership. Yeah. On the day of the launch, mm -hmm. they are being called off stage and threatened, and jobs being threatened. Wow. Uh, it was terrible. It was awful. Oh man. So you have just ruined a valuable partnership. Relationship, yeah. yeah. Mm. So that really goes bad. Mm. I'm not sure of the details of what happened now inside. Mm. The, mm. Of mm. course, the, the CS doesn't come. Mm. Oh, she didn't. Uh, of launch course. It. Of course not. It's yeah. a controversial. Now yeah, yeah, yeah. it has. Who ended it, up? No, it ended it? up <laughs> looking more controversial than I thought it really was. Yeah. So I don't know the media now also. Picks it up. Data is interesting. Yeah. Because like the youth fact book, yeah. I mean, somebody sits and really yeah. now does a series of articles. Yeah. And, you know, now begins to say, oh, the newspaper said this, but now this report oh, is saying this. You see? I, I can tell uh, you, I mean, we are, as a trained media pr practitioner, we are trained to look for, yeah. no, no, not trained, but you, you get a knack to, you know, do it. You. Uh, to look for that story yeah. the, when the dog but when, not when the dog bites the man but when the man <laughs> bites the dog because that's the story that's the you story. know you don't look for the mm. yeah. and, and uh, as well as what you are just pointing out here about data you know how does it all get interpreted mm. you know the and you know some of this data mm. i mean was used to say oh, kenya is a now a low middle income country yeah yeah it was, it was from that that, that was no the no 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 oh, it was before there was data. so you mm -hmm. see i mean it was it just got ugly yeah but I, for me I, I feel like there was a lost opportunity right there right because we are beginning to have conversations about uh, 20, 2012 mm. or 2013 mm. we're beginning to have conversations about remember 2010 constitution mm -hmm. so we are beginning to have constitutions about equality and mm -hmm. equal distribution equity funds all those things mm. so it's an opportunity to pick this and latch on to that as mm. a basis mm. and a lot of people For did a more pick progressive that. conversation yeah yeah but mm. when it's politicized it really just did look very mm. ugly mm. so anyways the mm. internal problems outweigh my problems with mm. <laughs> that work mm -hmm. and so my contract is not renewed, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i have to be mm -hmm. but it's interesting how of course like any person working in any organization you write mm. your exit email mm. and i got three job offers oh wow i'm like oh